a walk through the rainforest. Just you wait and see, its beauty is astounding, from the smallest flower to the tallest tree. Among the colourful flora, if you know where to look, useful items can help your survival. Record them in your notebook. Flowers that are star-shaped and yellow, with slender long leaves of green, can be crafted into a variety of bandages to wrap wounds and keep them clean. These bandages will not work alone if a venomous spider or snake strikes. Combine them with tobacco or lily leaves to remedy these vicious bites. The plantain lily leaf fringed with white is easy to spot in the jungle's gloom. Their stems are topped with blue flowers that remain constantly in bloom. The tobacco plant is just as vibrant, though its flowers are vivid pink. Its anti-venomous properties are more potent than you think. As well as these familiar plants, another has recently been discovered. A herb with green and purple leaves, a miracle cure uncovered. When the leaves are consumed as a stew, food poisoning symptoms subsided, but if the stems are eaten raw, poisoning will be provided. Under the lush green canopy, plants battle for light and space. Beneath them, on the forest floor, species of fungi join the race. Bright orange cup mushrooms give carbs when eaten raw and rid the body of pesky parasites so they can't lay claim anymore. Most of the jungle's mushrooms are found on fallen logs, but you have to collect them quickly before they're eaten by peccary hogs. Yellow mushrooms look ominous as they glow in the dark, but they are an edible species, eaten straight off the bark. Other mushrooms are not as friendly, and they can make your stomach hurt. This species has a brown stem and a white veiled skirt. If eaten raw, they are poisonous, yet dried, they have no adverse effect. Consumption yields little nutrition. They're a species many survivors reject. There is one mushroom, however, that sits a league above the rest. The native tribe seek it relentlessly, knowing it to be the rainforest's best. Indigo blue leptonia, it grows on the Brazil nut tree. As well as anti-parasitic properties, it provides a welcome boost of energy. Small bushes bearing hydrating fruits are scattered amongst the palms, and most of these can be eaten raw without causing any harm. See this spiky green fruit, hidden in the branches of a small tree. When eaten, it provides carbohydrates and kills parasites effectively. Orange fruits on bushes, growing much lower to the ground, provide ample hydration a treat worth keeping around. These secrets of the rainforest are essential for any explorer. The next part will cover its many trees and some of the larger flora. Swaying in the gentle breeze, tall palm trees set the scene. Their coconuts are good to eat and make a great canteen. If you cannot shake them down, an item can be thrown. To knock them from their resting place, use a bone knife or a stone. <gasps> there are many palms in the forest. The raffia's bark is rust red. It drops nutritious unknown nuts. Their fat content keeps you fed. Fan leaf palms are very common. They're named for the shape of their leaves. 
When harvested, they provide tinder and can be crafted into a bed when weaved. Living close to the water's edge, tangled mangroves are growing. Their roots are long and half submerged, making traversal quite slow going. Bamboo is not a palm or tree, but grows here all the same. It is in fact a species of grass that makes a strong building frame. The tallest of the forest trees we have visited once before. It supports blue Leptonia and sends Brazil nuts to the floor. These nuts are high in fat and can be useful in crafting. They make a decent fishing rod, a reel to help line casting. Growing on the trunks of trees, the yarna vines are intertwining. They can be used as a strong rope for crafting and for binding. Broad flat leaves of banana plants can make an armor suit. Combine them with metal or animal bones, but do not waste the fruit. Bananas are high in carbohydrates, a great nutrition supplier. Be cautious when collecting them, they're a favourite of the wandering spider. The rainforest is a beautiful place, though wrought with many dangers. Armed with this survival knowledge, you need not be strangers. You could carve out a life for yourself and live in these fertile lands. To succeed, you must be adaptable, as the forest won't consider your plans. Subscribe to the Apathetic Apes channel so you don't miss the next part. We'll be looking at the rainforest animals, a subject that's close to our hearts. We hope you enjoyed this documentary. The rainforest is truly glorious. As always, have fun, stay safe and most importantly, be curious. Deep in the rainforest, many animals roam there are so many species living here, we're not sure how many call it home. Hidden in the canopy, small nests made of straw. House a flock of toucans and two species of macaw. These birds are very noisy, which can interrupt your slumbers, especially at the gold mine, where they gather in huge numbers. Their meat provides some protein, but just a small amount. Their feathers can be useful to increase your arrow count. Weaving amongst the trees, rivers flow into lakes and pools. Within their murky depths, fish glitter like polished jewels. Most of these are harmless, but be cautious when wading. As hidden in the water's depths, red-bellied piranhas are waiting. The piranha delivers a vicious bite that can cause nasty lacerations. It's important these are treated quickly to avoid further complications. Stingrays are just as dangerous. They're an expert in stealth. Coming into contact with their sting is not good for your health. Their venom causes a fever, which painkillers can manage, combined with a good night's sleep and a tobacco or lily bandage. 
Though both fish are dangerous, you can catch them with a spear. Their meat is rich in protein, essential for survival here. As well as stingrays and piranhas, there are many other edible fish, including arowana and peacock bass, colourful discus and angelfish. When fishing, remember to stay alert, as black caiman may be prowling. Be ready to run or prepare to fight if you hear their guttural growling. The riverbank attracts many creatures that are suitable to eat. Consume the yellow snail raw, but always cook crab meat. Within the shallow waters, schools of prawns try to hide. Catch them with a bamboo trap to enjoy the protein they provide. Red-footed tortoises on the sand travel in small groups. Harvest them for meat and shell to make nutritious soups. Invertebrates, fish and reptiles that claim this watery abode share it with a couple of amphibians, the poison dart frog and cane toad. The bright colours of the dart frog act as a fair warning that if you eat its poisoned meat, you might not see the morning. The cane toad, on the other hand, is a viable food source. You can set up cage traps and let nature take its course. Inland, large reptiles are best hunted with a spear where the caiman lizard roams, green iguanas are surely near. These animals provide good protein, smoked, dried or cooked, assuming you can catch them, as they are easily spooked. The South American rattlesnake hunts on the jungle floor. If threatened, its tail will rattle, its venomous bite can't be ignored. Amongst the thick vegetation, small clearings are the best for ant colonies to settle and build their towering nests. Be wary, do not stray too near, they defend their territory aggressively. A single ant you should not fear, they gain their power collectively. As well as the rainforest ants, the forest is a keeper of the Brazilian wandering spider and the Goliath bird eater. The Goliath's venomous bite can make you very ill. Bites of the wandering spider, if untreated, they can kill. The rainforest also supports a diverse variety of mammals. In the next part, we will take a look at a few of the prime examples. The three-banded armadillo forages for food amid the trees. Be stealthy when you're hunting them, they are skittish and quick to flee. Other armadillo species are built slightly larger. They provide a lot of meat, but hunting them is harder. Armadillos live inland, they prefer it to the coast. The booming grub population is what draws them here the most. Capybara herds gather nearby, as the foliage provides some cover. Their meat is high in protein and fat, a taste unlike any other. This is the collared peccary. They are usually found in pairs. Bait a trap with nuts and grubs to lure them in your snares. Similar to capybara, their meat is good to eat. It has a tender texture and a flavour that's quite sweet. Of these jungle herbivores, you are not the only consumer. Your competition comes from both the jaguar and the puma. Be sure to keep your distance. These big cats are predatory. They don't like outsiders straying into the territory. Oh, 
If you have to face them, resist the fear and dread. Pick up your trusty spear and aim it at their head. Remember the rules of the jungle. Never take more than you need. There are dire consequences for those with unchecked greed. Respect the animal's boundaries and find a suitable place where you can live in harmony within your own living space. For practical tips on creating the perfect jungle abode, subscribe to the Apathetic Apes channel to catch the next episode. We hope you enjoyed this documentary. The rainforest is truly glorious. As always, have fun, stay safe, and most importantly, be curious. Living in the rainforest is not an easy task. There's always danger lurking behind its tranquil mask. To build your jungle home, pay attention to this guide. We'll offer you tips and tricks that can be practically applied. First, find a good location and remember to consider the nearest source of water such as a pool or a river. During the dry season, sources become too few. Water can still be collected in the form of morning dew. The leaves of banana plants make effective collectors when combined with some sticks and a few rope connectors. Though most water is contaminated, there are items you can build to remove any impurities and keep your canteen filled. Combine some charcoal and a log with rope, stone and sticks to create a water filter that works in steady drips. For larger quantities of water, river mud will work just fine to build a filtration system of a more complex design. As well as sourcing water, it's important to ensure you build a sturdy shelter to keep yourself secure. A bamboo or wooden frame held together with biana vines makes the perfect building base for any number of designs. You can weave the walls with the fronds of palm. They offer good protection from most kinds of harm. To build stronger structures, use river mud to make bricks. Mix the mud with campfire ash to ensure when it sets, it sticks. The jungle floor itself is no good for sleep. It's the home of parasitic worms that can burrow in skin deep. Removing them is painful. It's best done with fishbone. Use ash dressings to bandage, as removal won't work alone. To avoid this situation, raise your bed off the ground, so all the creepy crawlies won't know that you're around. Use resources around you. Wood can make the frame. If this is in short supply, Bamboo will work the same. With both water and shelter found, you can concentrate on food, the various sources of which episodes one and two include. Most food cannot be eaten raw, cook it or smoke with fire. To keep it fresh for longer, cure meat in a bamboo dryer. The dryer doesn't need a flame, the air will cure raw meat. But for other cooking processes, you'll need a fire's heat. Place small sticks in the centre, large ones on the outside. You'll need tinder to get it started. Use nests or leaves that are dried. 
Combine a stick and a plank to make a hand drill. The friction creates an ember. It's an incredibly useful skill. A technique requiring less effort uses a fire bow. It creates friction much faster as a hand drill is quite slow. For those with palates more refined, soups are the top cuisine, flavoured with jungle plants and meats that are quite lean. You can chop a coconut in half to make a decent bowl. Tortoise shells will also work if they are removed whole. The rainforest has on offer many forageable ingredients, or you can build some planters and grow them at your convenience. Smaller planting boxes can support shrubs and flowers, use fertiliser and water, and they grow in a matter of hours. Lily, tobacco, molinera, and the plant of the unknown fruit grow well in these boxes, as does the malanga root. Planters that are larger are good for growing trees. You'll need more logs and sticks to construct a few of these. The rainforest animals can be difficult to catch. You have at your disposal many craftable traps. Capybara and peccary can be caught in a snare. The trap won't kill them, but it will hold them there. Once the trap is set, don't stray too far away or you will be in danger of losing your precious prey. For the smaller animals, prop a stone up with a stick. If they wander into it, the stone will kill them quick. When hunting in the shallows, you can make stick traps. Arrange them in a circle and fish swim through the gaps. Once inside the enclosure, they won't be able to escape. To entice the fish in further, consider using some bait. Rod traps work just as well in places where fish flourish. Their meat is high in protein and will keep you well nourished. To survive in the rainforest, you need some protection. Build yourself a mud forge to make some metal weapons. Veins of iron can be found within the jungle caves. You'll need to craft a pickaxe to extract the ore contained. Keep your eyes open. Wherever you are mining, caves are the perfect place for scorpions to hide in. On your travels, if you find a place where once was man, be sure to loot it thoroughly for any empty tin cans. These can be melted down, as well as iron ore, to make a deadly spearhead capable of taking down a boar. There are so many creatures living in the rainforest. You could live beside them or just remain a tourist. We wish you all the best. May this guide serve you well in making the forest your kingdom instead of a green hell. We hope you have enjoyed this documentary. The rainforest is truly glorious. As always, have fun, stay safe, and most importantly, be curious.